Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is going to be a bit different. We're going to check out City Hall here in Fort Saskatchewan. And I want to try and grab some stuff to send Roman Atwood. Because honestly, I, just, I admire the guy so much. I just want to grab him some kind of Fort saskatchewan -y, if that makes sense. Some Fort saskatchewan -y slash Canadian Albertan kind of stuff and send it off to him. So let's... Uh, Head out on an adventure and check that out. It's a little bit of a windy day today. It's nice and warm out though. Like, this is almost the end of October and it's still nice and warm out. I remember this time last year, I was literally, no joke, I literally ran out of the radio station chasing after a grader, a snow grader, to try and get a photo because we had a massive snowstorm. Like, look at this. There's no snow. Like, what up? What's up with this? If this is climate change, if it stays like this, like if it just stops, stays like this, I mean, I don't know if I'll have a problem with it. I, honestly, I don't, I don't. You know, these things tend to help when you're trying to start a car. <laughs> trying to start a car without the keys. Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. Alrighty, let's take off and see what we can see and hopefully find some stuff to send down to Roman, Britt, Kane, Noah, and Cora. Let's see what we can find. It's a windy day because I almost just ran over somebody's garbage can and just flew right in front of the car. That wouldn't have been good. Alrighty guys, we made it to City Hall. Let's head in and... See what we can find us in the Atwoods. Okay, you guys, welcome inside Fort Saskatchewan City Hall. I grabbed a little pamphlet. It's a little Fort Saskatchewan guide for 2017. And inside, there's a whole bunch of information on Fort Saskatchewan, kind of the history of the area. And uh, there's also a map in there. Uh, we also have a sheep grazing program here. Uh, what happened was, I think back in the 90s, I think it was the 80s or the 90s, the city actually brought in like 50 or so actually probably like 200 or so sheep and just let them loose on city parks to kind of cut down on costs for lawnmowers and that and the program ended up turning into like a big tourist attraction and now they have like 50 sheep every year that come and spend the summer here and just kind of graze and keep the lawns nicely trimmed in the fort heritage precinct that's another area we can go heritage precinct see what they got Alrighty, so we're in the fort heritage precinct now this is an entire area kind of like a miniature I don't know, Fort Edmonton or a Heritage Interpretive Center, I guess. They got a whole bunch of heritage buildings. Uh, there's a bunch right in the backwoods over there. You can get some tours of them, actually. And uh, supposedly, some of them are haunted. Whether or not that's true, I'll leave that up for you to decide. Apparently, they've had some experts come in and do a bunch of analysis and all that. And, but over here, they have an entire reconstruction of what the original Fort Saskatchewan looked like, of what the original uh, Northwest Mounted Police Station looked like. It's not in the original location, but it's pretty darn close to the original location. I've been in there and it's, it's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so we went on a bit of a shopping spree in there. We got a whole bag of goodies to send down to Roman and Britain, everybody down there. So, essentially, what I got was, I got a little, she, well, I shouldn't tell you. Should I? I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so we're back inside the house now, and I picked up a ridiculously large envelope. I honestly overestimated the size that I needed, but it's, I guess it's better to have too big than too small an envelope, I guess, right? So we'll see how that goes over the post stops. I'll feel it. There's nothing in here. Oh well, yeah, there's something in there, trust me. Alrighty guys, so everything is packed for the Atwoods. I have sealed the envelope. No licking required. This is one of those self-sealing ones, which is cool, because I hate licking envelopes, and that would just be a big pain to lick that whole big one. But anyway, it's packed full of stuff. Other than that, uh, it's all ready to go down. Just gotta put the postage on. Alrighty guys, we're headed off back to Fort Saskatchewan City Hall because we have city council tonight. 
And because it's the first one right after the elections, that means that this one is hopefully going to be a bit shorter. Uh, essentially, it's just going to be the swearing-in ceremonies. Everybody's going to get appointed to whatever council, whatever committee. Essentially, that's what this meeting is going to be. But you know what? I love covering City Hall. I love covering city councils, town councils. I cover Redwater and Bruderheim as well. I, I, I love it. So here we are. Council Chambers. It's open. Miss Axley! Not open yet. Sorry, still trying to set up. No, that's fine. All right, on. So welcome to Fort Saskatchewan City Council Chambers. I love that. I love that wooden feature up on the wall there. That's so cool. I wonder how much it would be for, to get one of those in my house. Too much and it wouldn't fit. So I'm not even going to research it. Alrighty guys, so it's official. Fort Saskatchewan City Council is in session for another term. Council was sworn in. Mayor Gail Catcher was sworn in. It's, and I, you know what? I think it's going to be an awesome term. There you are. Thank you. No worries. And I think it's just going to be an awesome term with this council. And it's going to be trial by fire because right next meeting, they're diving into budget, and budget, trust me, it's, it's not your little home, home budget. We're talking the budget for the entire city of Fort Saskatchewan. This is not a small document. This is going to be huge. $75 million we're playing with. But more fun on the way for the channel. We're going to send that package off to Roman and uh, await his response. We're going to head off to Bruderheim tomorrow. Uh, they have food. And you know me, I love my food. So we're going to head out to Bruderheim tomorrow. Check out their council. Mayor Carl Houck got back in. So my congratulations to you, good sir, Houck. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Plenty of fun on the way. We're, going to, we're just going to have a riot with this channel. We're going to have a riot with these videos. Leave a comment. Give this thing a thumbs up, man. This is uh, definitely a different vlog. Make sure you have fun. Get it done. Turn that smile upside down, boys.